Welcome to Whoops in the Dungeon. Today we're going to do a little short segment on quirts, uh, specifically long quirts, sometimes called dog quirts. I'm not quite sure why they're called a dog quirt, other than most of them are built off a, a signal whip uh, build, and instead of finishing the whip by platting the cracker directly into the whip, the whip is finished uh, with a viper tail or a quirt style tail. Uh, this particular quirt was finished with uh, with a red hide tail and essentially when you look at this it was finished with a traditional fall hitch and someone cut, the whip maker cut a wider fall like about three times wider than what you would cut a fall for a snake or a bull whip and then they split the leather down the middle to form the viper tongue or the quirt okay so it throws very much like uh, a signal will throw uh, the build would be similar to uh, a budget signal in that it has a, sh a, a light shot loaded core it might have a uh, well, it'll have a, a belly. It might have a bolster. It might not have a bolster. Depends on the whip maker. And it'll have the overlay. In this instance, this is a 12 plat overlay. Uh, and what I like about it is I like that the, the quirk comes right out of a fall hitch because there's not a lot of uh, variation there. It's gonna throw very much like a snake or a signal whip it's just finished with the quirt. Okay, so this particular uh, dog signal was made by Peter Jack. And again, it's, it's light shot bag, bolster, overlay, uh, uh, 12 plat overlay. There's no real reason uh, with a quirt to go over 12 plat. Uh, you're just paying extra money and uh, you don't need the articulation and quite the finesse that you have when you're throwing a snake or a bull whip because it's ending in a quirt tail and it's intended to be intense and you don't need quite as much finesse when you're going for uh, that kind of painful impact play. So the difference in the way Peter did his is he uh, did a fall hitch and attached uh, a, a little piece of leather with an eye in it, okay? And then through the leather eye, he, he wove a piece of leather, one piece of leather, and did a, did a loop and a weave, and it ends with two tails, okay? Now, what I don't like about it is this is kind of like a swivel and it adds a little bit of a slop. You would think it's going to add slop and it's not going to be as accurate as a quirt finish like this. That would be the initial impression. But actually when you start throwing it, uh, it rolls out and finishes accurately and this swivel doesn't you don't really see that swivel when the court's in motion so my initial premonition would be that it it's not as accurate in reality when you're throwing it i don't see any difference in the accuracy of this design as opposed to uh, the design with a traditional fall hitch two different whip makers two different approaches both both quirts work well. Uh, from a whip maker standpoint, uh, it doesn't take quite as much time because the, the, uh, the build isn't as complex. You're talking about a light shot bag, overlay, bolster, uh, or, or excuse me, light shot bag, belly, bolster, overlay. Uh, and in my recommendation, I wouldn't go in a finer plat than 12 plat, just because of the nature of the whip. These could be made three foot, they could be made four foot. 
These were both ordered as four foot whips, but you see, as with anything handmade, uh, this one's exactly four feet. This one's about four and a half feet. Uh, they both throw fine. Uh, I use them quite regularly. Uh, they're made by two different whip makers, so they're not a match set. But that's a little bit more in the weeds on a quirt, a long quirt, and the way a quirt might be made. And uh, don't be afraid if a whip maker hasn't made a quirt, but they're making single tails, uh, you can describe this build to your whip maker and he should be able to, to make it. Uh, or he or she should be able to make it. Because they're just gonna make a simple build uh, in the thong down to a fall hitch and then they're gonna cut an extra wide fall and split it in the middle. And you end up with a quirt a long court, very handy to have as an addition in your dungeon bag, play bag. As always, thanks for watching Whips in the Dungeon.